Good morning and welcome to my backgammon channel. Today I want to put you in the driving seat and give you a tour of my concept of traffic light blitzing. So follow my directions and let's get started. So like traffic lights, my traffic light system of blitzing is broken down into three colors or three categories if you prefer. We have red, which means you would have eight or fewer checkers in the zone and it's usually the right course of action to pump the brakes and stop blitzing. We have amber, amber would mean you have nine checkers in the zone and in that instance you should wait and consider whether or not blitzing is the right course of action. And we have green, when you have 10 or more checkers in the zone and then you should put your foot on the gas and play blitz go. So we're going to look at some positions to illustrate this concept further. So here we can see that white has rolled a double five, green has rolled the checkers back onto the board. Now white has eight checkers here in the zone. He has seven in his home board and one on the eight point. And then he's rolled a three two. It gives him two options, whether to play safe, 13 to eight, or whether to hit. And in this case, we go to red and see that we have eight checkers and should stop the blitz. So it's simply better to not hit and play 13 to eight. If we now look at nine checkers in the zone, we enter the amber category of the traffic light system and here we should wait to consider whether blitzing is a good option or not. So here it is correct to make the hit, but not hitting is only a 0.036 error. So if you were to play safely, it wouldn't be a huge mistake in this scenario. And now we go on to a final third category of a traffic light system, which is green. Here we have 10 checkers in the zone and now it is correct to make the hit. Playing 13 to eight is a much bigger error than before. And if we were to adjust this position further and place one of Green's checkers on the bar, now hitting is mandatory. By not hitting here, we would be, be committing a very big blunder. So we have red, amber and green and we can look at those three all together here. So white has rolled a double five, green has rolled both checkers into the home board and here we can see the same roll for one and three different variations in the right play. The top left, with only eight checkers in the zone, it's correct to play 13-8. The top right, with nine checkers in the zone, it's a tie, a borderline decision whether to hit or to play 24-20, 9-8. And on the bottom right, with 10 checkers in the zone, it's definitely correct to hit not hitting in the bottom right scenario would be a big mistake. Now notice the difference between red, amber and green. Eight checkers, nine checkers, 10 or more checkers. So the same roll, but the move is different in each case. Now, we also have to take our opponent's home board into consideration. And again, this will dictate the different color to take on the blitz formula. And here, even though green has a five point board in both positions, it's better to play the blitz when we have 10 checkers in the zone. But on the left, we shouldn't play the blitz and we should just play 13 to eight. So you can see there 
that it's still correct to put your foot on the gas and play blitz go, even with green having the stronger board. We can again use this system to decide whether or not we want to make a double hit. So here on the left, we have nine checkers in the zone. And on the right, we have 10 checkers in the zone. So we can categorize that to amber and green. And amber, we should wait and consider whether to make the double hit or not. And we can see that it is a borderline decision whether to make the double hit. So hitting once is only a 0.014 error. So it's quite borderline whether they hit once or twice in the amber scenario on the left. However, on the right, hitting twice is a must. We have 10 checkers and anything besides hitting twice is flagged as a big blunder. And that's it really for today's short lesson. I just wanted to finish with this position to show that like any rule in backgammon, there are exceptions. So here we can see that white has many checkers in the zone, way more than 10. And this would flag the green blitz go part of the formula. But here it is a blunder to play the blitz game plan. Here we are ahead in the race and it's just too much of the risk to play a blitz here. Even though we have the stronger home board as white, we don't need to attack playing 10 to four, which is a huge blunder. Instead, we should just play 11 to nine, 10 to six. So use my formula, my traffic light system of blitzing if you want to, but take it with a pinch of salt. Like any rule in backgammon, there are of course exceptions, but I hope you found this interesting and you learned something about when to blitz, when not to blitz, and developed more of a conscious understanding of different strategy points in the game. Thank you very much. New videos every Wednesday. Please subscribe if you like my channel. Thank you if you have done already. More content coming soon. Look after yourself. See you next time. Goodbye.